everybody, I'm Seamus. I'm Josh. And I'm Rootsgun. And we're playing The Pit in Fallout 3. We're playing the DLC. We've just killed... I don't even know who we... We just killed people, okay? We Most just ran them. around. And we just killed pretty much everybody we saw. And now we're going to talk to the leader of Pittsburgh, who is Asher. Um, after enslaving us, stripping us of all our stuff, Sending us to do some very sketchy work collecting ingots for unknown reasons. He's given all our stuff back and now wants to see us now that we're pissed off and armed to the teeth. As he gave us all our stuff back and then told us to come meet him while we can walk through all the guys that stole our stuff from us in the first place. Yeah, that's so. That's, that's and, a bit. Uh, and then he expects us to not murder everyone. Yeah, I guess he expects us to not be insane. He's not a forward thinker, is I think the best thing we can say about him. No, in fact, you'll see far, far worse things if I do this right, and if he's not hostile when I get there, which is why I'm sneaking. Well, we've already seen his skills as a manager, what with his whole... throw all the slaves into a meat grinder, and the ones who survive, we let go strategy. Yeah... Really, he's not all that good at anything. <laughs> well, we're about to see how good he is at bleeding, so... Yeah, we're gonna see how good he is at combat, I'll bet. Were those guys hostile? I don't think so. Um, I'm not gonna take the chance, though. Well, I will say I, this, Josh. He's you know, I was like all 50 prepared feet. To, I was all prepared to complain about you doing other DLC, but it is sort of a nice change of pace to see you pickpocketing... Pe minions and killing figureheads in a different environment. <laughs> oh, but here's this tile set again, the Museum of Science tile set. Ugh. Oh, pretty much exactly the same, yeah. Hey, Asher, what's up? Um, oh, and those guys on that tower back there, um, they, uh, they tried to shank me, so I had to defend myself, um, naturally, with grenades. With fragmentation grenade. <laughs> Sir, we've had sightings of Werner back in the city. And there's been so they're talking about Werner and uh and how What? How uh he's back here and they apparently know about about him. Reminds them that they might earn their freedom. So so this guy's worried that he might try something, you know, like maybe sending an infiltrator in so that he can kill Asher. Um, and Asher's like, no, no, whatever. Anyone loitering too long downtown. And keep a watch. And once again, I've got to point out that that guy on the right has a different physique than everybody else. Unless that's a property of the armor that he's wearing. Like, does everybody get all beefy? I was like, his armor is a big, like, fat radiation suit, almost. Oh, you know what, uh, on this low-quality stream that I'm watching, it looks like he, it looked like he was bare-chested. Oh, and, and this voice, the voice of every red guard in Morrowind and, uh, Oblivion. What are you doing in my city? I understand. We've all got a past. Oh, maybe that's this not the right This is the one guy. black guy. It's been a no, actually, yeah, no, that's not it. That's all. It, it, you know, I'm, I'm having trouble remembering it, but it is one of the voices they use again and again. Well, I won't, I won't be able to tell until Josh starts killing him, because thanks to my Morwind LP, I have a very intricate, thorough knowledge of all of the painful, gr pained grunts that a Red Guard voice can make. So. Like, there's a different timber to it when you set him on fire, and when you just stab into it. Hey, look! Surprise, surprise! Werner was this guy's second in command. Among the slaves in my city. Next, you'll claim he didn't send you Werner? To steal from wait a minute, is that like the... Oh, wait. That's the no, dude that led know. us here. I was thinking that was actually the the Canadian guy from, um, from Rivet a City who wants to find his droid. Blood. For some reason. A very wise decision. Looks like Werner under That would have been interesting. And this not so much. What I do to so Werner didn't really send us here to save everybody. Now he sent I us here to kill his boss so that he yourself. could take over. Let's take a trip back to the lab. Sort of, but he is interested in the cure. 
Don't let me Which that would make a lot of sense. Why? Why wouldn't they want to use the cure? Why? Why so do this out. bad guys? Uh, the slaves are rioting now, right? And I'm the guy that just killed a bunch of his dudes. I said some like off thing about, oh, now, now I, I know the score. I'm gonna join your side. So he runs the fuck out and leaves me back here with no guard so that I can do shit like this. So this is the lab. Oh. And this is where we find out what the cure is. But I'm afraid I was preoccupied. And he guesses why do yet? All yeah, all, why do all bad guys want to not distribute the cure, but they want to keep the cure? How is Asher profiting from not distributing the cure? What, does he want to charge more for it from his own slaves? Uh, well, that has something to do with what the cure actually is. Believe it or not, she's both. My daughter Which is naturally acquired immunity a baby. To any form of mutation. Basically, she what? won't turn into one of the trogs. The cure's a baby. Wow. It's nice of you guys to tell me about this before you send me to get it. So, how is the baby taken? That's a... Oh no, these it's injected? tests are perfectly safe. In fact, it's not a... Uh, well, it's... It's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a baby that uh, has some sort of natural immunity to the trog disease, so they're trying to uh, develop it, which is also sort of like I Am Legend. Now that I think about it. Okay, but <laughs> that is, that means they don't have a cure; they just have a, a single case of immunity. That's not the same as having a cure. It's not like they yeah. say, "Okay, I want you to they're eat thirty minutes before taking this it. baby." <laughs> Okay, so now, uh, now, um, I still want to do, um, the steal the baby part, both because that's what Cuffbert would do, and because, uh, I got some stuff to say <laughs> about Warner's dialogue after this. Uh, so, uh, so we got this line down here, that means kidnapping this baby is the key to ruling the city. Yoink. Which is like the yes, best line ever. <laughs> you can't really <laughs> pick up the baby. Thinks he can get away with kidnapping Asher's daughter. You can't really pick up the baby. It just said you picked up. Done, you carefully pick up the baby. So you are theoretically carrying a baby now. No, I wouldn't. But our snipers could. Why not? Now, um, I've read a scientific hair. treatise on this subject, Marie's Josh. So you should know that by putting this baby in your backpack, dead, you're incurring a baby horrible death check. You think you can get away with this? Every I should note that the so now she's threatening me baby. about every raider in the town. You know, this starts with me a lot more if I couldn't do this. Bye bye. <laughs> and now you have See to you guys. The baby. <laughs> I also like how she didn't shoot you. Well, I guess you're holding the baby. Yeah. Oh, and babies are- and children are invincible. You should create a suit of armor made out of babies. <laughs> Baby armor. Oh. And like, Mary McCready is like a- is like the-, the I don't know, the one of the pauldrons or something. No, Mary McCready is your riot shield. Fuck, not one of these again. So you can't actually introduce a cure from how I'm well, calling it. Well, you're developing no it. Yeah, you have the key to developing it. Yeah, yeah, you have a baby in your pocket, and you're having a grenade fight. <laughs> you know, I was going to give Bethesda credit for this neat twist where, oh, wow, you have to, you have to choose between doing what's right for the people, or this baby, or you have to, like, do something bad to a baby to get the cure for all these people, and you'd have to make this terrible choice. But at this but point, no. at this point, it's just, like, Chaplin comedy. Yeah, now it's a Although, farce to again. be fair, how would you do this in a Bethesda game? How would you, uh, how would you carry the baby in a Bethesda game? I would not make the baby a thing to be carried. <laughs> I would, yeah. yeah, you would, you would have the baby smuggled out. Yeah. Yeah, that would probably have been better. Um, that never really <laughs> terribly bothered me because, uh... 
Sorry, I just got to the just how... bank the guy and he died. Because <laughs> of just how uh, how goofy this game can be at times. Um... So, so it might understand that you can see the baby listed in your inventory. Oh yeah. I, I can show you it after I finish looking Ooh, up. Can uh... you put the baby in the rocket bun? <laughs> you know what? I don't think you can because you can't remove quest items, but uh, that would be really funny. Uh, what else that do you That would be want? the worst kind of funny. Uh, bring sneak up by five so that... No, wait, no. Wait, yeah, five so that I can uh, have max sneak when I'm wearing the uh, Chinese stealth armor. And the rest into energy weapon? Pyromaniac! Now all I need is a shish kebab. Okay, so, um... I, I have, uh, two problems with this DLC. One of them is that, uh, there is no middle-of-the-road option. Like, Asher, when you're not stealing his kid and blowing up all his guys, seems like a fairly reasonable person, aside from the fact that, you know, he's an idiot and lets me walk around and steal his baby and murder his guys. Um, like, you would think that you would be able to negotiate with him, but the option never ever comes up, so you can't, like, have him still develop the cure, but, like, let the slaves go free. Uh, again here, you see a lot of vertical design. Uh, hey, slave. Yeah. Y you keep going. Use that giant saw thing. Have fun. Go wild. That sort of thing. I already killed everybody so, up here. So there's no way to free everybody and have the cure. Well, um, if you... What you can do is give the slaves the cure, and then I guess maybe they have someone who's decent at science that does it. But you can't, like... <laughs> You can't like not be a baby snatcher and still get and still side with the okay. slave. Okay, that's that's kind of an interesting choice. I'll give them credit. That's that's interesting. Yeah, I can understand why they did yeah. that. I just I don't like it when there's not an option where I can get everything, no. even if it's really hard to do. What would be interesting is if that you were like a doctor or science type character, if you could help work on the cure, maybe speed it up. That would be cool. Yes. Uh, that would justify having those skills in the game, aside from, oh, I'm going to hack this thing so I can have a Protectatron wandering around. Making robots fight for you is the whole purpose of science. Which, you know, yeah. is actually pretty All cool. Right. And that's how it should be in real It's life. an amusement, but that's nothing compared okay, to, that was... hey, I could use small guns. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, that... like, like I mentioned last episode, I, I just started playing Fallout 2. And it, you know, I actually started as a non-science character, and I started learning it halfway through because it's just essential to, you know, I was hacking terminals, yeah. but not to get things to fight for me, which, you know, I, I have guns for that. I was, you know, learning information about the quest objectives, and, you know, yeah, things like that. And it actually, I mean, it's kind of a spoiler here, but... In Fallout 2, if you have a science pedigree, you can actually create a cure for jet. For jet addiction. Oh, holy shit. They really swarmed me there. Yeah, that didn't really go well. No. Let's try that again. Oh, that was bad. Fallout 2 was kind of the the beginning of the spider web cracks in the series. That was, of course, the uh, a a different team, and I liked Fallout 2 as well. What the fuck? Why am I doing no damage? That is. The grenades odd. are clearly exploding right next to him. He dies well enough from my sword. 
airsoft grenade. <laughs> that would be Those the exist. worst invention of all time. Those exist. They're terrifying. That doesn't make them a good what, invention. What do they do? Do they they explode grenades. and fire airsoft pellets. Oh wow. It's exactly what it sounds like. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure the commercial versions exist. There are definitely bootleg, sort of, shonky versions that you can find blueprints for on the internet. Fuck this gun! What the? Okay, see, I had plenty of health there, and then it went away. Alright, fuck you guys. I'm just gonna accidentally throw a grenade. Wait, where am I supposed to be going? Him? I'm supposed to see, uh, I do, but I don't have a lot of them. I'm supposed to see Midia, right? Yeah. I can't get over Midia's name. Is there uh, another one besides, oh. like, the, the Greek? I don't know, city? I mean, Asher is named after an ancient city, as far as I can tell, oh. so maybe it's supposed to be Midia. But yeah, it's to me like you've stirred up a the bit story of Medea has absolutely readers. nothing. To, well, actually, when nice does she have any connection murderers. to the baby? But more importantly, uh, yes. In the cure. Mind like, it, did she? It, she's not the mother, is she? No, the mother was the okay. person I stole it from. Um, so this is the other problem I have with the dialogue in this. Check this out. Don't get all sentimental on us now. Don't get all sentimental on us. You just kidnapped a baby we'll from its family. parents. And if something happens to her family, <laughs> I'm sure she'll grow up fine with us. You're an idiot for thinking that's a bad plan, even though, though we didn't tell you at all. She'll be all right, just not with me. Asher's guards are always watching me. They'd find her right away. But I am intentionally picking the good options to care about the kid because I want to show this dialogue. There to take care of she cure. never has to learn about take the monsters that her parents were. You Let know, she'll going. just always grow up in the safe arms of the slaves who stole her. Yeah. And use well, her to oh, develop hi. a chunky cure, knowing full well that she might not survive the process. What do you mean I can't hit these guys? You should take this fight outside or you'll hit her with collateral damage. She can't die. She is a vital NPC and cannot be killed. She's just sitting down oh, in the right background. There is any concern <laughs> wow, for safety. Wow, good height on those guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure oh. that second one was already dead with the second time it flew up. Um, never mind. <laughs> Apparently, I can kill Midia. This is making up for those dud grenades you were throwing earlier. You just killed the lady that you gave the baby to. <laughs> no, I didn't I didn't give the baby. Uh, it's too dangerous to have the baby here for obvious reasons. So I'm going <laughs> back to the steel yard I was in last uh, last episode and giving so the baby to She's complaining that the guards are always watching her, but the guards are actively fighting you. She decides that the safest route for the baby is in your pocket while you're grenading the ever-loving crap out of the entire city. Josh, I say you just leave the city right now and raise the baby as your own. <laughs> One day we she really too need will wear the two Reginald Cuffed Bird. <laughs> she too will grow the mutton chops. <laughs> that would be pretty badass, actually. Did it just to say run you became addicted to jet? Yes. Nice work, Josh. Yeah, that, yep. I you was know, a very I've addictive been... drug back in Fallout 2, too, but here I guess you got the magic cure and can get unaddicted by talking to Doc, or whatever his face was in Megaton. And any other Doc! Oh my 
Yeah, I mean, that's actually a major thing in Fallout 2, is you can create a cured jet, which you start distributing among miners, but you have to consult with, like, three specialists before you can... Yeah, literally three specialists before you can manufacture and distribute it. It's and not it just clearly didn't take do. long to get here. Actually, that's a good point. I guess maybe it has just come over here. Yeah, well, you, it's only been, I, like, 20 or 30 years since Fallout 2. Yeah, but a cure to jet is a pretty big thing. I mean, True. Jack got all the way over here. You would think that would be kind of weird, too. Yeah, a little bit. Especially since it's just one guy who knows how to make it. I like how some of the slaves are just, like, chilling, oh. like, what up? The other ones are and fighting with auto axes. Oh. What am I getting shot Actually, by? Come to think of it, canonically, the guy who created Jet in the first place died. Like, it's sort of a young age. I, yeah, I don't remember that much about it. Yeah, I don't think it actually happens in game. I don't think it happens in game. I was just I was looking at the the Wikipedia article on it, or you know the Vault Wiki. Mhm. Mm I wonder what the Indian okay, so lore about Jet coming over is. Probably non-existent. Yeah, it's probably just like. Like, yo, what? Bethesda. Jet was in Fallout 2, right? We can have that here. That's Except we, it'll work different, and it will enough. make less sense. Something we can't harp on enough yep. is that they just throw in elements of Fallout 1 to lore, except they misinterpret it. The con and put it into context where it doesn't make any sense. So, what's our goal now? Where are we taking this uh, baby? We're going t into the steel yard to, uh, to talk to Werner. Oh, and it's back up where I killed those wild men, actually, is his hideout. Yeah, his hideout is with the wi wild men. This well, is it was with the wild men, then I killed him. Yeah, he actually... Okay, so the guy who made Jet actually dies a uh, one year after Fallout 2. Wait. There's a pit slave here guarding the hideout. I don't remember that. Okay, so here is my biggest problem ah, with this. Made it. I got everything ready and there are plenty That's got to be a so tall order. The brat in the crib. This guys all like, "Oh, well, yeah, you got the baby and everything." And then uh yeah, because you would have just whined about it. You would have just you whined know, about it. You aren't making and reply to, to you never world. told me it What's was kidnapping. Kid is here now, and we can move on to the This guy the is an idiot. Of the you would have whined about it. Maybe, maybe I would have not agreed to do it. Yeah, and you know, maybe oh, sure. at this point, maybe this once I sort of irate the say, in the enemy Sorry, base after going through all of this on a quest that you sent me fall. on, maybe it's then I'll turn against you. Have battle. you considered that? Now, what you can do is you can now kill Werner and go back to talk to Asher and give him back his kid, and he'll be all like, "You're an idiot, but I understand why you did it." Um, but uh, I'm not even sure his wife is still alive, so. I think I may have killed her in the ensuing grenade uh, crossfire, so we're not going to do that. Oh, actually, one question. Uh, sorry, this is just a pet peeve That's of mine. Your first to oh, the kid is a brat. It. I mean, come on. Has now anybody ever heard up. anyone call we'll anyone a brat unless they're the villain in a show or movie? Uh, yeah, and we're talking about a baby. Cocky bastard. Yeah. Yes. Is this an ill-behaved baby? No way. Not even close. This is a baby well, it could be explained as, as you know, being now the son the of the Guns big blazing. slave master who started the pit and ruled it with an iron fist. Their home and even the so, I mean, brat is just not a term that's ever used in cold blood. Simple. Get someone else to do it for you. And there's a whole city full of trogs, hungry to So now, uh, since apparently I didn't kill enough of those raiders while I was there, gee, sorry, my mistake, uh, we're gonna shut down all the floodlights, which keep the trogs out of uptown. So this is getting better and better. Instead of freeing the slaves, we're going to flood the city with trogs. Only uptown. Downtown will still have all the lights on, so they won't get to the slaves. 
Wait a minute. While well, still carrying the baby. The floodlight control. Is, isn't Uptown inside Downtown? I'll meet you back How does that work? No, Downtown is the one area with all the we'll slaves. Uptown is the other area where Asher is. Ooh. It's called Uptown mainly because you don't walk on the ground too often. Uh, and he actually has the baby now. It's in here, in the crib, and I can't steal it. What and I wanted to ask is you, carefully that face hand looks the baby scary. Over. Yep. So the trogs don't have to go in through downtown to get to uptown. No. Yeah, what do they have their own catwalks? In fact, there's a back they... way into uptown that uh, we're about to take. Well, obviously the trogs have their own entrance. It's called the trog door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Okay, so the entrance is over here. Oh, we're sort of uh, discussing this. Uh, uh, Randy actually pointed out before that the, there's a sort of a monster in World of Warcraft, also called Trogs, which are like irradiated sort of feral gnomes, and that you know there's some obvious similarities between the sickly proto-human, uh, proto-humanoid. Monsters running around the apocalyptic wasteland in World of Warcraft, and the exact same thing in Fallout, with the same name. But, um... I mean, to be fair, it's not like it's an original concept, having mutated freaks running around Holy in shit, Trog. Holy shit, I have no health. That's kind of just like from Trogdolite, which is like the species name of chimps. So it's, you know, it's just sort of like a common source, I guess. Yeah. No, did Probably you not a direct Huh. Did you just slide through a steel beam a minute ago when you were coming down here? It looked like the uh, steel yes. beam was made of jello and you just slid through it. <laughs> yeah, the steel beams have some funny hitboxes. I love the mysterious stranger. And he's inside a sidewalk and not shooting. Uh the mysterious stranger. Okay, that new theory. Worked terribly. <laughs> the mysterious stranger is actually the G-man. Oh, that. Yes. That's actually a good one. The mysterious stranger is the G-man, and that's, what he that's does what he's got he's inside the briefcase. Gordon Freeman, like a costume fedora and trench coat. Yes. God damn it! Why doesn't anything work on these guys? Okay, that did. I think the grenade needs to go off. Is the key. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Did it go off? Oh my, whoa. Did that go off like after VATS wore off? Yes, it did. Yes, it happens I've, every so often. I've never really seen that happen. I don't know. Maybe it's not paying enough attention. There's just so many grenades flying around whenever you get into a fight. Yeah. How do you get so many grenades anyway? I, I don't find uh, many. I found a whole bunch of them on my other playthrough. Hey, how are we doing on time? We are, I was just about to say, we are coming down to the end of this. I was thinking when you were going to see Werner that that was going to wrap this up. This is, this is nope. hampering my ability, not having plan, not having played through this. As I didn't realize uh, how much longer this was going to take. Um, so yeah, um, when you get to a good, when you get to a door, let's wrap it up. Okay, I don't know if there's a door here nearby, but, uh, Well then maybe we'll when see. we just get out of combat. This is a cool hallway, this is a cool place. Yeah, here. I just, I like the yeah, level design yeah, in this game, yeah. in this DLC, that guy just ran by me. And I hadn't played this before, I've just sort of watching, been watching you do it through this groggy looking stream, but I have to admit that I, the level design is pretty cool. Like this All right, is, well, this let's is call it pretty Fallout. Too. Yeah, and yep. e and even if we don't want to call it Fallout, you know, even the part okay, steel foundry and stuff. I mean, if it's not Fallout, it's cool and atmospheric and has some nice contrast in it. Um, and it's not the damn capital right. wasteland. Yeah. And you know, we were just talking about that. That doesn't have to be Fallout per se. I mean, you know, there are environments in Fallout 2 that are very different from environments in Fallout 1. If they want to go very somewhere new point. and interesting while maintaining the mythos, yeah, that's also cool. Yeah. 
Okay, so next episode we finish the pit. I can guarantee Yay. you I will not die five times and spend the whole rest of the next episode uh, yelling at Trogs.